In this update, you'll watch us working on the shed, planting potatoes, making DIY gardening tools and creating a beautiful home for the herbs. In this week's episode, we finally get the roof on our shed. For now, that's all the time we have to work on the shed, as there is a lot to do in the market gardening right now. We were able to put the floorboards into a small part of the shed, which allows us to store the tiller and other big tools in it already. It's finally the time to put the potatoes into their beds. We already let them hatch in the main house, so that they have an advantage when they will be placed in the earth. As we are unsure of how fit or how good our soil is, we planted a variety of potatoes to see whom of those will work in our soil. Here's another good example why you always need a folding ruler in agriculture. As we all do love potatoes, we planted quite a lot of them. In these four beds we planted close to 30 kilograms of them. This would hopefully give us something around 200 kilograms of potatoes. You've seen us preparing the bed several times now. And to be honest, also I kind of get sick of doing that work over and over again already. But we only have a few more to go. We wanted to build our own broad fork that suits the width of our beds exactly. For that we got some metal from the local metal guy <laughs> and Wolfie cut the parts for the tines and welded them together to make them more resistant. A grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't. Well, it still doesn't look very professional to be honest.
I did some more welding and grinding to put all the metal parts together. For this being my second welding job ever, I'm proud that the parts all keep in their place. Appearance is secondary anyway. Wolfie well, we crafted wooden handles and then we could try it in the garden. I'll still have to get used to that big tool, but it works. Besides having the tines a little bit bent, we're learning for future models and we'll use this prototype for the big planting party in May. We wanted to add a herb garden to our vegetable garden, so after a lot of research we took action. Nini drew a sketch what it could look like and started to dig into the dirt. Some plants have a lot of growing in the greenhouse to do, but some seeds are strong enough, like parsley and chervil. Probably it's not the end, but it's the end of this little project. As a fertilizer for the plants, we choose fermented plant juice. It is a mixture of nettles and melasse. We learned about it in Hugh Richards' YouTube tutorials. It's rather easy to make. As we were in need for a tool to lay out the channels in the beds, we decided to build it our own. Some old oak floorboards, a part of an old uh, large facade, 
were recycled as a new rake. Although it makes you look hideous when you use it, it does the job quite well. This is the picture. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah.